Hello, since 1860, the brewery Slag Mulder has been brewing some exceptional beers. Hello again. So we have another um, beer from the brewery uh, Slag Mulder down in the Nove in Belgium. And uh, this one is the the Whitcap Pater Triple. This is a 7.5% triple beer. And believe it or not, this was actually voted by the New York Times as the 8th best beer in the world. So I'm expecting something special with this. Um, it's also a beer that's sought after by a lot of gourmet chefs and they actually use this in various aspects of their cooking. So this is quite an important bottle of beer, believe it or not. So uh, um, look forward to trying it in a second. Uh, and as you know, the the uh, the, the brewery uh, Slag Mulder was was basically since 1860. Um, when it first uh, it turned up and it was obviously Emmanuel Slag Mulder who started it then and it's one of these unique breweries that's, that, that has gone from father to son, father to son, father to son, father to son during the decades so uh, they've kept it in the family and they, they only produce three or four beers you know nothing great I just tick along but this one here is meant to be the the best one out of the bunch so um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll crack it open and we'll give it a go. Now, like I've said before with these, you don't want to shake these bottles up. This is a, this is a beer of high fermentation and you've got ra the rounds in the build of yeast or the rounds in the bottom and you don't want them in the beer. And there's obviously a specific way of um, pouring it. Um, you really want a nice sort of like chalice type glass like that. this is a particular wick cap one and uh, you basically hold the bottle at 90 degrees to the glass and just pour it out but watching the bottle be careful because what you want to do is try to capture them rounds in the bottle There we go. If I put them in a, into the shot glass like that, as you can see, very darky, very cloudy. That's that's the rounds, the yeast at the bottom. And uh, some of the Belgians actually, uh, they take this down in one, or some prefer to tip it into their drink. You know, um, they, they 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 take this before they have the drink, or sometimes after they have their drink. Um, it's everyone's each to their own. But here we go. The Whip Cap Triple. As you can see, it's a very, very um, light coloured beer. A lovely creamy foam head to it. It's got a, a real fruity smell to it. Sort of. Oh, I can smell so oh, it's really, really um, oh, like a fruit cocktail is to smell, and we'll give it a taste. It's got a very complex taste. There's a sweetness to begin with, and then a bitter aftertaste, which usually with a triple um, beer, they're very, very sweet all the way through, but this one's got a bitter background to it. You can see why 
sort of gourmet chefs and that like this beer to cook with because it's sweet and you've got the bitterness but it's delicate it's not harsh on any on any count it's just a it's a perfect balance um it's really 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 good beer I can see why this was voted by the New York Times as eighth best beer in the world I can you know it is really really pleasant I can actually say this would be brilliant beer to cook mussels in you know um, in Belgium you can have your, your, your mussels and they, they, they do it cooked in their, their various beers and that um, uh, and because obviously mussels is sort of like a standard sort of national dish over there um, I can actually see you could actually cook your mussels in this and I think that would taste really, really really go well this would also go well with seafood um, make a lovely beer batter I can see why the chefs rave about this beer it's good you could, you could stick this in a stew or a steak and ale pie this is And this would go with fine dining. You know, you could sit there eating a fine, you know, fine, fine dining meal of, you know, some real nice food, and this would go along perfect as to drink to drink with the food. It is, it is a really, really, really good beer. I cannot fault it. This is, it's a little gem. This is, this is wonderful. You've got to go out and buy a bottle of this and try it. It is, it's fantastic. It's, it's really, really good. There's a nice carbonation in it. It's a, it's a lovely golden yellow colour. It is, you know, it is just very, very, very nice beer. I cannot praise this up enough. Um, I wish I got a few more bottles now because this is good this is very good um, go out buy a bottle I got this from uh, Beautiful Beers in Bury St Edmunds believe it or not um, yeah it's fantastic really 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 good beer Go out, buy a bottle, try it. See what you think. Comment in the box below. See if you, you know. See if you like it. Like the same. Is it? Is it the eighth? Is it the eighth best beer in the world according to the New York Times? Do you agree? Disagree? Comment in the box below. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. You know. Share it. Tell your mates about it. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Um, let's get talking about beer. But this is a cracker. You've got to experience this beer. Um, yeah, you, if you haven't, you, you're missing out. This is this is a one. This is a wonderful Belgian beer. This is um, go out there, buy a bottle, try it. And like I always say, beer is the answer. But I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night.